Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as anticipated, Frontier did reveal the screenshot for the Meerkat. Uh, this was no surprise, it did win the poll Frontier put out on the tw uh, on Twitter. Fennec came in a close second, uh, kind of surprised by that, given that the African Penguin is the one habitat animal that we have not seen at all. We haven't seen a screenshot of it, it didn't appear in the trailer, nothing. Um, so. That was my personal choice, was hoping to see that, but we'll get that in a couple days, it came in third. So the meerkat, absolutely adorable, and we're going to dive into this little guy here, take a look at it, take a look at some comparisons to some real world animals, but before we do that, I want to put a message out to anybody using mods. My mods, anyone's mods, they're going to break. Um, we have it pretty much official at this point, or not official official not for frontier or anything but yeah they're they're gonna break uh on the 22nd so here's what you need to do you need to remove them from your zoos remove all the animals the modern animals the modern scenery out of your zoos do a clean save empty your trade center make another clean save make a clean backup then delete the mod out of your ovl folder this is to prevent anything nasty happening like never being able to enter that particular map ever again. It can happen. I've had this happen myself. I have one map that I can never use again. Fortunately, it wasn't a really involved one, but if it had happened to something like Wild Mountain Lodge, I would have cried. So don't let that happen to you. Um, we're going to try Tuesday morning to get all of our mods updated as quickly as possible. Just bear in mind, we are humans, we are human beings. Us modders, we have jobs. Most of us, we have, you know, social life stuff that does sometimes take precedence over other stuff, but we're gonna try and get it done as quick as possible. I know, um, already kind of working on like a patch and stuff to get things going, but those of us who have made a ton of mods, it's gonna take time because they have to be updated one by one. So just bear with us again, remove, your mods. I'll put a little tutorial out um, pretty soon here on how to do that safely. But back to the meerkat. So our lovely little meerkat. This is the one animal we did get a good look at in the trailer and we also got some uh, very good screenshots of it in the announcement. So this was the one that we got. We have our lovely little meerkat here and then behind it a little uh, meerkat habitat with you know the glass barrier and the little guy's kind of running around. You can see one doing its sitting animation there, which is great. <laughs> and their little burrows and their little standing pose. So very, very fun animal. So meerkat, uh, suricata, suricata, or circuit, it's a small member of the mongoose family found in Southern Africa. So it's kind of interesting that they went with the Southern African animals, the meerkat and the African penguin, Yet this North African, Moroccan, almost Egyptian, in some ways, style decoration. I mean, it's kind of an interesting mashup. But, hey, it, it works. So, I mean, we are glad to have, you know, a new pack with some actual building pieces coming. So the meerkat, it is a social animal uh, forming packs of 2 to 30 individuals that occupy home ranges of up to 5 square kilometers. They do have a social hierarchy, usually the dominant individuals in the pack breed and produce the offspring. The non-breeding subordinate members help care for the pups, kind of similar to a wolf pack, uh, honestly. They live in rocky crevices and in large burrowing systems. So in areas that are more rocky, they do, form, they do utilize the rocks for shelter. In the plains, they form uh, large burrow systems. And these are quite extensive, the tunnels tend to be around three inches high, can have up to 15 different openings and multiple levels. So the real world meerkat does look a little bit different from the one that Frontier gave us here. It is a kind of rangier looking animal. It's a little more feral looking than the really cutesy one that we have in game. Um, they have a little bit more of a slender face, and there are a couple of different subspecies that do look slightly different from each other. I'm not sure which one we're getting. We'll have to see in the Zoopedia if they specify one. Um, the babies, they're, you know, the juveniles, they're kind of miniatures of the adults, and which we kind of see in the uh, 
reveal screenshot here, which really cool. They did actually show us the juveniles for once, which is great. And they look awesome. They look adorable, exactly what I would expect. So again, you know, another example of the meerkat, this kind of maybe not as darkly marked, narrower face, this much more, you know, mongoosey type face. Yeah, I mean, cute, but cute in a might fight you kind of way. Um, yeah, very, very fun little animal to have in our zoo. So thrilled to have them. This is the meerkat range. So kind of interesting, again, basically restricted to Southern Africa. They are not found um, north in the northern parts of Africa at all, not found in the Middle East at all. So the fact that they gave us um, the Egyptian pieces, and if I can find those here, yeah, these, um, these Egyptian style uh, meerkat sculptures and signage, kind of interesting given that meerkats don't and pretty much have never inhabited that part of Northern Africa. So, going back here, I actually wanted to show off a couple real-world examples of meerkat exhibits found in zoos around the world. So this one is from the Hogel Zoo in Utah. They're not large. Um, one thing meerkat exhibits and zoos have in common is they are not very large, and they tend to be space fillers. Um, these are going to be fantastic for just slotting into some little patch of empty space in your African area, in your safari uh, section. So yeah, it's absolutely great for that. Uh, again, uh, I want to say that this is Munich. Not entirely certain on that. You know, characteristics are like a rock wall background, some sort of rocky shelter, sandy substrate for the meerkat to burrow in, and glass viewing. There's a lot of glass viewing around these. Let's the kids get up close to them because they're, they're kind of tame, friendly little guys, you know, but glass so that, you know, the little kid doesn't stick their fingers through the wire and get it chewed off by a meerkat. We don't want that. Again, you know, just another example. This one's a little bit more naturalistic. Um, planting up around the edges. Planting that's in the exhibit is going to be kind of hardy because these guys do dig a lot. So not a lot of plants in, you know, in the actual exhibit, but surrounded by plants. Again, rock wall, some sort of, you know, concrete, fake rock little den structure for them and then again more glass viewing so lots of glass this one is from san diego zoo this is the africa rocks exhibit where they have their meerkats so again you can see here uh, they allow their meerkats to express their natural burrowing behavior these are all meerkat holes that the animals would have dug themselves and then this little cave structure back here probably leads into the actual management building where the you know the indoor um, holding areas for them. Or San Diego, eh, they might have outdoor holding. I'm not too sure about the backstage on that one. Uh, again, I believe this is Whipsnade, uh, which is a zoo in the UK. So again, not a whole lot of foliage in it. A fairly simple exhibit. Uh, instead of a natural rock wall, it's more of like um, a mud wattle kind of rock wall. A little bit of overhang, just so they don't climb out, because, you know, it's a digging animal, but they can still climb, probably. Again, you know, a fake concrete kind of uh, den structure for them. Sandy substrate, different, you know, logs and stuff for them to climb around on. Glass viewing lets the kids get up right close to them. And then I believe this is actually the indoor viewing for these little guys, with and complete with some signage. So, and just finish up with another look at a meerkat. I just really like this picture. It really shows off the uh, variation in the coat here really well. They're just adorable little things, and I am just thrilled to have them in Planet Zoo, finally. This is an animal I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. So, again, wanted to reiterate the thing about the mods. If you've made it this far in the video, great, awesome. Remove the mods, like, Monday. Go through, clear out the modded animals, the modded scenery out of your zoos. If you don't, and if you don't make a mod, you know, an unmodded backup, and do a clean save with no mods, nothing in the trade center, and completely remove the mod from your OVL files. If you don't do that, and on Tuesday morning everything breaks, 
and you can never enter your map again, well, don't say I didn't warn you. So, again, we're going to try and get our mods updated as quickly as possible. Hopefully by Tuesday evening, they will all be updated and ready to go. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you happy with the Meerkat as the addition to the Planet Zoo lineup? Uh, would you like to see something else? Um, what do you think of this choice? What do you think of the art style that Frontier's gone with on these guys, making them, like, super cute and everything? And, I mean, you know, the, the cute is kind of... You know, it's a selling point, definitely, and, and Zoo Meerkats definitely look a little bit more kept. You know, a little less rangy and feral than their wild counterparts do, so maybe it fits. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.